The main thing I want to show you here is, for example, you added some rows, like three rows above. Instead of pressing like 10, 11, 12, you can just select two succeeding numbers, like 8 and 9, and pull down that button. Okay, so we're working on something like this, and then we received some, if you can see here, electrical analysis. Then we have to update it in our layout. It's going to be hard to just keep going here and editing because just like drafting our 2D lines, these are just text. There's no formula link. Everything needs to be changed uh, mano mano or manually. So what we will do is we will go to our Google Sheets and then make a load schedule and calculation template so that whatever we place in here, for example, I place uh, 10, the formulas get updated. And whatever formula is being used by your electrical engineer, that's what we will input in here. So the first method to put this into layout, the easiest method is to do Windows Shift S and then paste it over here in our layout file. However, the problem with this one is that it's pixelated and blurry. So if we go to document setup, you can actually change images output to high, or if you want to see it during your layout, you can make it high, but it's not recommendable because it's just a screenshot. This is for like very fast moves, but if you want something neater, what you can do, method number two is to select the cells, control C for copy, just like this one. If you paste it over in layout, you can actually uh, resize them and arrange them such as the text and templates. However, not every cell will be aligned. If you notice here, some are misaligned. So the most efficient way, which is also a bit the longest, is to download the file as an Excel file or CSV. Then you go over to layout and insert that CSV by looking for it in your downloads if you use Google Drive. But if you used Excel, you can just import the Excel straight. Now what happens here, unlike AutoCAD, it's not a linked file in the sense that there are formulas attached, but it is a linked file in the sense that the reference is the same Excel sheet. So whatever you update here later on, you can just reload the document, just like how you update your SketchUp model, and it will be updated, all the values as well. So right click, and then update to table reference. And then you can choose some options as well. When you go inside, it's more of the layout. So you can resize, you can merge cells. For example, all the cells I right click and size to fit. And then columns to fit as well. So this one will maximize whatever text there are. But if that's unlikable for you to be using, example this one, what I do is I just right click all these cells and merge them so that this is spaced according to its row. So that will be fine. And then what you do later on is make the thickness thinner so it will become lighter. And then you can just keep editing, like you can keep merging cells until you're satisfied. So layout is more on how you lay out stuff. We are not uh, designing in this stage. We are not really drafting so much in this stage. We're using what it's named after layout. So that's it for today.